As the rising sun casts a rosy shade across the morning sky, a couple is seen wearing a beam of smile with farming tools holding each other's hands, trailing through the footpath leading to their garden. They start tilling the land in preparation for the bumper harvest at the end of the season. This is Sagi Amolia and Sifa Masika, the residents of Chijiji Zone located in Chakatu refugee settlement. They pride in being a model couple in their village who other families look up to. Model coupling is a strategy being used by Action for Development, Arkford, in partnership with ARIN and financial support from BMZ, Federal Ministry for Economic Cooperation and Development, to prevent sexual and gender-based violence in Ugandan refugee settlements and their neighboring communities in Chaka to refugee settlement. STOP is about prevention of sexual violence um, in the refugee settlement and host communities in Chegegwa district, that is to mention Chakatu refugee settlement. Uh, the project aims at promoting gender equality and women's empowerment among refugee and host communities. Um, one of the key approaches that we are using under this project is the model couple approach. Uh, model couple approach entails um, an engagement or engagements with women and men or a husband and a wife at household level and the reason why we are engaging both is to unpack what sexual and gender-based violence is so that both of them can appreciate and understand the different forms entailed, entailed in sexual and gender-based violence. It is from this intervention that Amolia and Masika were crowned model couples. Like many others, their family had been characterized by frequent conflicts which often led to violence. Na mafundisho nye nilipata kwa Akford. Akford walinifundisha na muna gani mutu anaiza ishi na mke wake, na muna gani mutu anaiza ishi na watoto vile vile. Yani kujua aki ya mwana mke na kujua aki vile ya watoto. Sa nimejifunza kwa Akford mambo mingi sana na imeni ongezea na muna gisi mineza kuhishimia mke wangu. Kwa sasa ninayo furaha na mke wangu anayo furaha kwa sababu naye ndani ya nyumba alishaka kuwa na masemo na mazungumzo yenyewe anaweza ongea na anajiua anasema nikaongea hiki mume wangu atafanya nini atanisikiliza. Na sisi vile vile kupitia masomo yenyewe tulipata na sisi tumekuwa msaada kwa kijiji. Kwa sababu kuna mashida fulani fulani zenye tulikuwa tunapata hapa za kutoka kwa jirani kwa sababu Sie tulifundishiwa na sie tusaidie wenzetu na sie tulipima kusaidia wenzetu na wenzetu saa hizi wengine wako na ushuhuda mzuri nifazi kwenye mnaweza ikala mnatia mafikiri pamoja na mnasaidiana na mnaona maisha yako bie bwana hakuwa napenda atapata pesa hata msini yake hawezi yona atabeba pesa atapata pesa mpokero anaibeba kisha utamwambia sasa bado ungenisaidia zangu za kichwa yangu ya mpokero na za mtoto wangu uzitupatie ndio vita pale unasema fimbo ianje mnyumba ile maisha tulitembelea nayo tulitembelea nayo lakini saa training ilifika masomo ilifika na sisi tukapata neema kufa nini ya kutuingiza ndani waka rafiki yetu akatuingiza akasema pana kwa hii hali yenye mko mnaishi acha kwanza mwanako naye anaweza kasikia wapi huko si ndio akatupeleka kule tunashukuru Mungu sana wakati alifika kule kwa nje peke alijiona utafauti na alijiona waburi. Wengine wenyewe anafanyaka kumbe wengine banaume hapa vifaa yake. Emmanuel Ramhizi and Jacqueline Ntesi are another model couple that benefited from the project. Their relationship was full of anguish and misery, which they say was a result of alcoholism. They were however relieved by the intervention of Arkford. Like Amulia and Masika, Ramhizi and Jacqueline are now able to plan and develop as a couple. They later replaced alcoholism with farming and they are now role models in their community. Uh, 
aho mwatuvanye ni nera turimo ubu turi mu nera nziza aho turi hano muri set urumungu kugenda twigisha amabantu ubumwe yahura ni nambara nyine nawe zikomeye ubu bakaza kutureba ati mutase Jacqueline nzuko ari waho bishoboye ati tubabarire ati nibura muze mutu yambe ubwo haba hagizeho umugabo wenda yimye umwana umugore we ngavugane rero ngenda bajyana kwa Chairman kandi simba babarira ni kandi ndahita mbafungisha ubwo nagira umugisha atukicara tukabigisha abone umwana baramuduhaye ngamuhereza nyina ahasigaye tukabunga asigaye bagaterera Modo couples in Chaka Two settlement are not only living happily transformed lives they also support their community households that are facing similar challenges Fred Rusoke and Kellen Kemigisa say their presence as a model couple has helped many in their community. Ntungo wira ubo kwikara nabwe aroho beza babanyizira ni bizubu byabo mu makagabo ko mbaso kwiza mangambira mseza wange ine bizubu bino na bino bino na bino ntungo wira kwikara nabo kuraho nyabakansolinga urundi kubaza nabo mpora mpora binge bagobolira hari harubazu wange ni mbahe byo kororwa bimbeye ndoho so obunya hingisizemo atsazunu ico kurwa kino ho nico kinabo rusanga nibagera nibahingisa mu makaga bo sazunu naba ino bisiye nke bizebe fitu yamero mu byaro nicaro kino cyo weitu bizebe bibingi muno bembele terizwa ekintu ico kweta mpokero pokero ku maisa kasete kateto aka wfp ehereza esuhuki hata kasente umuntu bakuba arakamaro kakira nka munaga mu ngeso nkiraro na rwana na tero mukazi mukazi mayina teriba so abantu no basanga tibiro singi enta nanka enyikara te kuba samukaga msanje gwekero muntu na chama kuza kwemuca na gambi zo izo izo marenso ngazanye so bitu ni sima mukama habukoba ni sima kford ni sima bukuba ekarengaho kutirizayo kandi yarenga kutukoraki kutsembeza mu naba bantu twabaza nabo twaterera kurunka na makaga bo sazine ga dizo ga tekein Host communities face a similar challenges compared with nationals as most are report having experienced a physical, sexual or emotional violence perpetrated by their current or most recent spouse or partners. Paul Biamkama and Margaret Namgerwa were among the many who lived a violent relationship for 6 years. It is the training from Arkford that revitalized their marriage. We twakomao tanko kutereza mpola mpola nze no mwami wange nga mpulire enso njali olebadi batugamba nga naye awuli enso njende te twachusiza oda shikeyo naye mpola mpola twagenda nga tuchusa 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 obokuswala abantu bamanya tusomye omusomo gwa bafumbo ate bagana kudamu abantu batwaye nga te kwatiga majambia nitusala wo tuchuse ne tuchusa ero kuva kwolo nabantu abakuru batwebuzaako nibagamba mu abali bekwatira majambiya mwachikola mutya nje kampeni zena we myaka nkamukaga kongata kasita kubasa kugira ngo tufuno bwire ngwankwateho ninga tuseke mwe nkunde yakozere ki ya cendire konga kuya utkarwe tukuseka twamanya ngo abantu abatwirinde bino kubanza bafuna rukundo era tukargaye tukozere na exercise buri oma kwa sire mugenzuwe amukozere ki amuhagingire ombantu kandi twayega ngu oyino kufstama no muchara wa Abraham hona oyine oyino kuzana hona we oyino kumuhechitinisa na waka kwechitinisa muyino kuba ni mukwataga no mubiyona no byako byasende no kuba ineke kuzakora oyino kumugambira Everest and Dama Rose Adaga are community facilitators in the settlement. They have been highly involved in mobilizing communities against SGBV through creating awareness and mediation of cases. Kwa hiyo wakati ya sai kupandi ya maneno ya kesi kwa kweli kabisa kesi ilipunguka. Maana ya kuona kama kesi ilipunguka moja Uh, kwa miaka yenyewe nilibambia kama kutoka 2000 na kenda kuenda kufika kwa miaka 2014 Tambabiniga hapa tukukua na lala 
juu ya maneno ya kesi. Ale unasikia hii sasa hii unaona damu, ingine unaona iko na kuya wanapigana, ingine walisha mupasula nguo, watoto wanasema wa wazazi wanakatala wauzia nguo, abako napenda babaende kwa masomo, wazazi wako na wapeleka waende batumike kazi yenyewe abastaili kutumika na wengine wazazi walikuwa na kamata wasichana yao banaenda banaigawia bwana juu ya kukamata kupata mali lakini wakati yenye nilibaambia kwa 2014 2016 ile kesi ilipunguka kwa ile muda make kesi atukukua naye sana alipunguka kwa lakini akuishaka na mimi niko na vyenye tunatumika nabo juu maneno ya nyumba iko ngumu mwingine utafika kwa mwenye na kupita miaka atakuwa na hivyo anakuzarao. Sasa kwa hivyo njoo tunapenda tunajeunga karibu watu mbili tatu kwa sie wenye tunatumika. Tunaelezeana, tunapatiana muda kesha tunaenda tunafika. Kwa ule mtu tutasikiliza neno yenye ambao ilimfikisa kwetu. Mbele yake mbele sio kwenda kwake. Na naisha tuambia neno gizi ko shida ingine nezi kuwa ni shida ya vita pale pale na wakulumizana iko na sie tupate gizi ya kufaa nini mbele yao wakulumizana na tusha bafikia lavuda kama inashindikana na sie tunajua adile kesa tutamaliza inabidi government na sie tunashukuma kwa baongozi bachai mani kama aistahili bachai mani na sie tunatuma sauti kwa baongozi bakubwa yetu wa akifodi kwa kusema shida iko hivi na hivi na hivi tunaona shida na staili na nyie mulete ndani maoni Mariam Chogaviri a pastor and social actor uses her church as a platform to preach against SGBV and family neglect which she says is a leading cause of violence She says Ackford's couple methodology has been a game changer Ntambu deko na Ackford mu makaga abantu ngamba yigiriza oli bwaba afunya obutabanguko bantu okirira kuba kati ba manyi oli bwaade banne yambisanga ngo omuntu mukwano gwaabwe ngankola ne chairman kwero si kubandi treasurer banne yambisanyo kale bantu alanga na abachala tenga siri na abachala nate kati bwe nateeka ko obukugobwa Ackford ne chinne yongera mu kufuna amanyi munze in addition, implementing partners commend Ackford for its unique approach towards creating peaceful families and stronger community structures. Because this methodology one, it, it brings in what we may call responsibility sharing. In other engagements you find you are engaging majority of the men and leaving out the women. What the woman gets is what the husband gets, meaning the information will trickle to the family very fast. It will either spread to the brothers and sisters or to the children. There is a great change with these model couples because by then what was uh, bringing them issues of gender-based violence were issues of income. It had helped them improve their income levels by working together, discussing issues of the family together, and even solving these issues of the family together using the resources they have earned. Whereby now, men in these couples, men respect the seasons of their wives. Chekegwa district remains committed to the fight against SGBV through ordinances working with implementing partners the government. Chekegwa like any other district in, in Uganda is facing a challenge of GBV. So to have a, a partner specifically to come and contribute towards that, towards its reduction is very, very uh, appreciated by Chegegwa District Local Government. Our commitment, both the political leaders and technical leaders, is that uh, we must work with the annual development partner that comes in Chegegwa to fight against the gender-based violence. <laughs>